Throw your foam hands in the air like you just don't care. It's the first ever Disney Channel Games. Hey, everybody, and a big what's up from the first ever Disney Channel Games. I'm the American Dragon, Jake Long, and this is my sidekick. I mean, <laughs> co-host, Foo Dog. Smells like corn dogs and popcorn. Oh, I love sporting events. Yo, you got that right, Foo. So first, I'd like to give props to Kim and Draken for starting these DC games off right. But now, Foo and I are ready to get this party started American Dragon style. First things first, let's go to the scoreboard. Oh boy, folks, it looks like the blue team is in the lead, followed by the green team in second place, and in third place, the red team. You guys have been playing along all week at DisneyChannel.com slash SoHotSummer to win points for your favorite team. The team that got the most points this week is the blue team, which gives them another 25 points to their overall score. Yo, let's get this party started. Tonight's main event is the dunk booth. You know, why do they call it a booth anyway? I don't see anybody making a phone call or collecting a toll. Yo, don't be such a fool, fool. All right. Now let's bust the move down to the field. We're back in the mix at the DC Games for tonight's main event. This one could get wetter than a sponge in the rain. That's right, folks. Oh, well, tell them how it worked, Brad. Well, the game itself is simple. Each team will field three players, and from these three players, one player will be chosen to take the hot seat in the tank. Each player will then have three throws and three opportunities to drop the player from the other team into the water. Wow, and in the end, whichever team scores the most dunks wins. And in case of a tie, there's going to be a dunk off. For today's event, the winning team will receive 200 points, second place 100 points, and third place 50 points. But it's the DC games. We're all winners. Okay, so, uh... uh, uh hey, you got a ball. Hey, yes, I do. <laughs> Phil, why don't you uh, hop on in there? We'll show them how it's done. Uh, let me think about that. No. Oh, come on. No, Phil, no, no, no. I'm sure everybody at home would love to see you in there. Huh? <laughs> I'm sure everybody at home knows how the thing works. We don't need to do it. You think so? I think so. Oh, what do I hear? Brian, Brian, Brian do I hear your mother calling? What? Hey, Brian, time to come in for yeah, dinner. No. Works every time. That was you, wasn't it? That's what I thought. Sorry. It's okay. Now, before we unleash these players into the tank, let's see what they had to say about tonight's event. Like this. The best arm on my team? Oh, wow. That's tough. Well, I was a pitcher in Little League, so I don't know. We'll see. Maybe it's me. It's all about aim. It's not about how hard you hit it, but it's about aim. Well, I throw a, a fast curveball. My ball, it, if I go straight, then it'll stop, come back and curve around, and then go back again and go forward. So it's like unrealistically real. You know, I'd like to keep it fresh. I'd like to keep it fun, you know, kind of, you know, shock everyone else. I want them to think that I'm not going to be very good at all the sporting events. But then when it comes down to it, bam, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come out and just, just, just rock the world. Well, I haven't been practicing my throwing skills, but since you mentioned it, I'm going to practice right after this. I really hope it's my brother that's throwing because... I know how he throws, and I know he's going to miss. So I'm confident, except I kind of want to do get done. You say that now, but karma's going to come back around and get you. And it's going to be in the form of a baseball hitting that target. Oh, yeah, I won't miss. Don't worry about that. I will not miss. Get ready to get dumped. That's all I have to say. What a night it's going to be. The DC Games continues. Stay tuned. Hola, mis amigos, and hello to my friends. We're back at the first ever DC Games. All right, we're back on the field, and our main event promises to be uh, more than just your average sporting competition. It is going to be a match for the ages. It's the dunk tank. <laughs> but before we introduce today's teams, let's take a moment for today's player profile. Profile, profile, profile. Dylan and Cole Sprouse have not always been twins. It sounds shocking, but it's true. Dylan was an only child for 15 minutes. One thing I have overcome, as you know, we are twins, but while I was a single child for 15 minutes, I was very happy, man. Those were the days. 
and now I'm saddened. But I got over it, and I'm a happy living guy now. Happy sometimes when coal doesn't annoy me. Dylan came to accept life as a twin, but meanwhile, his brother would continue to experience a different kind of hardship. One that would stick with him his whole life. A challenge I had to overcome, and I'm still trying to overcome, is the fact that every day he brings up that he's 15 minutes older than me. So, it's always his birthday 15 minutes earlier than mine. He gets cake 15 minutes earlier. Do you know what that's like? In the eyes of Dylan, Cole's burden was his blessing. And as they grew up, he would always remind his younger brother that he was the mature one. I feel more mature in every way, pretty much, you know. I wear deodorant, and I, I actually have armpit hair, and he doesn't yet. And you that, didn't have to bring that up. Despite the 15 minutes that separate these twins, the bond of brotherhood has become a bridge to a better tomorrow. Jiminy Christmas, who writes this? It's a lot of bees in a row. Bridge, better. Even though we are 15 minutes apart, the main important thing is that we're brothers and we stick together and watch each other's back. That's right. What an amazing story. If that's not inspiration, I don't know what is. All right, now let's introduce tonight's lineups. Throwing for the red team, it's Captain Sack the Enforcer Efron and the always chillin' Dylan Sprouse. And in the hot seat, it's the man with the plan, Moises Arias. Representing for the blue team, it's Team Captain Brenda Sing Me a Victory Song. And Jason, the Duke of Earls. And taking the plunge, it's the twin who's here to win, Cole Sprouse. Throwing the heat for the green team, it's lightning arm Lucas Grabiel and the marvelous Miley Cyrus. And the big dog himself, Kyle Roof Roof Bassey. All right, let's see if we can get a few words with the players before the contest commences. So uh, let's go to Brian. Thank you, Phil. So, gentlemen, I uh, did a little temperature test, and it's pretty cold in there. How are you feeling about that? I'm feeling great. You know what? Cold awakens your inner spirit. Yes, you're right. Totally right. That is a good attitude going in. How are you feeling? <laughs> I oh, mean, I'm already cold standing in the man. I'm scared. All right. Well, I understand why you would be. It is freezing in there. But good luck. Back to you, Phil. Thank you, Brian. Stay tuned because the dunk tank is coming up. Hi, Phil. Hi. Don't go anywhere. The first ever Disney Channel Games continues all night long. We're back at the DC Games, and our main event is the dunk tank. Now it's time for our first matchup of the night. Heading to the tank for the big blue, it's Cole Sprouse. And throwing for the red team, it's Zac Efron. And Cole is entering the dunk tank. As we speak, Zac Efron getting ready to throw the ball. Okay. This is an event based on hair, I think, Phil. It's a lot of really good hair. And if the hair does get wet, then it turns into bad hair. Yes! Yes! There you go, bad hair. Let's see if Zach can uh, produce bad hair. Let's see what happens. He's got one ball that was a little high in the way. Let's see what he does here. But he really is relaxed out there, Phil. Oh! That was looks beautiful. So, so relaxed, he puts Cole right into the drink. Yeah, yeah, one more time. But, but Cole Sprouts does not seem to be too phased. He's getting back up, wanting more. There's the replay. Yes, I saw that replay. It was uh, it was very dramatic stuff right there. That footage. Cole is just ready for more, and Zach is getting the crowd going here. I have here. a feeling about this. I, I really don't... Uh, ah, there it is. Uh, Zach was really in a zone there, Phil. He really got into that dunk tank zone. Not many athletes can get there. I have a question for you, Phil. Ask away. The team that Zach's on, mm -hmm. why do they call it the red team? Okay, let's move on. Zach comes up with a deuce for the Big Red. Next up on the mound, it's Moises Arias versus the blue team's Cole Sprouse. Here we go. Here we now, go. Phil, um, you'll notice yes. that Cole is already wet. 
Now, this is a huge advantage for Cole um, because he's already wet. What you got, Moises? You got nothing! Right, but doesn't he sit a little bit heavier on the plank because he is already yes, wet? Yes, I do. I think he's a little waterlogged. So, Phil, I have a question for you. The team that Cole is on, why do they call it the blue team? Okay, let's move on. This is, this oh. is not looking good for Moises. He's got one more attempt here to try to get uh, Cole in the drink, and he failed. That's 0 for oh. 3. 0 for yes. Yes. Didn't connect, Moises. Take a look at the replay. We'll see Moises. Oh, he wasn't too far Oh, off and there's him. a slow-motion taunt. Now throwing for the red team, it's don't call me Bob, Dylan Sprouse. Throwing against his brother, Cole Sprouse. Oh, oh, oh. oh now this is, a, this is very exciting here. here. This is... Um, <laughs> Family versus family, brother versus brother. Twin versus Good twin. hair versus good exactly. hair. Exactly. And you know, Dylan is just waiting to get Cole into the water. You can actually see the drool coming out of Dylan's mouth. He's so excited to get his brother so away. Both of them are waterlogged. Now, see that, that little focus technique he used there? Look at that. Yeah, that, that, was, uh, that, that, that goes back to 1952 dunk tank uh, champion uh, Ralph Ralferson. Curious to me, did you? What's that? Did it look like it hit the the, the ball hit the square right, there? I, I don't know. I wasn't watching. Conspiracy, Phil. Conspiracy. Dylan gets one big hit against his bro and tallies up another point for the red team. The red team sets the bar with three hits in our first round of action. Stay tuned. The big blues up next against the green machine. Oh, it's freezing right here. More good times from the DC Games dunk tank is coming up.